Today and tomorrow is about sitting back, reflecting on your program, learning from some of the best in the world, looking and watching what FIFA is doing, the great program that Japan is building. Visiting their academy a few years ago, I said, wow. And no one would dare say that that's not the future. Let's make sure that we adopt some of the best practices. To see CONCACAF start to really lead in a way that I've never seen CONCACAF lead before is pretty exciting and, and I'm thrilled to be a part of this panel, thrilled to be a part of the conference. We're in Philadelphia at this historic theater getting set up for a massive weekend right here. Incredible, incredible event. Um, in, and what a great opportunity to bring together so many people from the region to really dig in, you know, roll up our sleeves and talk about how we really develop women's football in the region. Uh, sometimes you think like in my country it's super difficult, but then you see that other countries have similar problems. And then most of all that there's always solutions. CONCACAF's first ever live seminar online. That's what we are a part of today. That's why this is historic. That's why this is going to be memorable. How do we have discussions? How do people understand that the position they're in isn't unique? A lot of people have faced these same challenges and they can learn from that so they don't have to repeat exactly the same mistakes. They can build on it. It's about pro creating progress. It doesn't matter if we were all world players. It doesn't matter if we kicked a ball or not. It doesn't matter, none of it does, but here we are because we are involved. And here we are because we are making sure that the passion here, the wisdom here, and, and, and you're never too, never too young to teach. Never too young to teach, never too old to learn, right? It was a really terrific day. Uh, any chance you have to bring in some of the, the best minds around women's football, uh, and share ideas and uh, learn best practices and just um, get to know each other is, is a wonderful opportunity. Uh, we're all really around the globe, but certainly uh, throughout CONCACAF countries, we all want to do the same thing, which is the, the sport of women's football to grow and thrive and, and young girls have an opportunity to play at every level, uh, including the highest levels. What has to happen? Is it that we have to win in order to gain the support and the popularity, or do we have to get support and popularity in order to win? There are a lot of governments across the world funding girls' football because it's got educational benefits, health benefits. So often you actually find that a lot of the girls' programs are, they might be in the schools or they might be in health programs, so there's opportunities there. see all the people from the world of football here. There are people in, you know, in the audience and, and on the panels that are real decision makers in soccer and uh, I think uh, learning from everyone, I mean, what more can you ask for? I think, uh, of course, it was my main area. It's about hosting Women's World Cup, so uh, it was interesting. I think it was uh, great to listen to some of the uh, comments from the ones who have organized past events. Uh, I think it's good to see the development. I think that was the main uh, thing which struck me to see from 99 to 203 and now to 215 next year, how far the FIFA Women's World Cup has come. I started playing soccer when I was around 11, like in a club, but um, I always like to play soccer everywhere in my school, in my neighborhood. For us, it's, it's getting so, so difficult to say who is winning uh, the league. And right now we have got like four strong competitors where I would never say who could become the champion. And that's important to have a competitive balance, which is very close, that everybody can beat everybody. Mm -hmm. 
thank you for being here and for the work that you guys do. Uh, it's, it's a tough uphill battle, but I look at it as everybody that's on, that's involved in women's soccer, we're all on the same team. If everybody out there can take something from what is shared at this event, all of the representatives from the member associations can take what is shared at this event. How can we reach into every single federation and get into the heads and hearts of everybody that not only want to support these women as players, but also as administrators, also to make sure there's funding and research and education that will better develop our game of football in the CONCACAF region. To be able to empower everyone that's here um, to maybe realize what they are capable of doing and within, within their means and, um, and inspiring them to go back to their respective countries and make change, that's what's going to happen. We don't only maintain and sustain, but we educate, develop, and win.